Hello everyone, this is Ryan Bernard, Game Director on Tom Clancy's The Division. And today we're very excited to give you this exclusive walkthrough where we're going to follow a team of three players as they move through the Dark Zone. So here we have our group of three agents, uh, Ryan, Megan, and Bronson. And we're going to be following them as they enter this very dangerous area in search of some awesome loot. Ryan is uh, set up as the healer for the group, so he's got support skills loaded with pulse and healing grenade. Megan uh, is, is DPS, so she's got the Seeker Mine and Sticky Bomb loaded up. And Bronson's going to be taking the brunt of the punishment, so he's got Pulse as well and the turret, so he can uh, keep the attention of the enemies during firefights. After the virus broke out, the Dark Zone was originally set up as a quarantine zone in the middle of Manhattan to contain the sick. But things rapidly went out of control, and there was a massive blackout and the military had to evacuate. They had to leave their most powerful gear and weapons inside the Dark Zone. So this loot is extremely valuable to you as a player. But this also means that it's the most dangerous place in the game. This loot attracts a lot of attention, including other real players. The Dark Zone is a multiplayer gameplay space in our world, which you can seamlessly enter without any loading screens. Outside of the Dark Zone, you can play in teams of up to four, but once inside, you can decide to collaborate with other agents or betray them, kill them, and take their loot. As we climb the wall to enter, you can see the UI starts to cut out because once inside the Dark Zone, we lose our connection to the outside world. And this area is highly contaminated, so we can see the players put on their masks to protect themselves from the virus, and then they're set to go. Okay, now we see our group is coming up on some enemies up ahead. As we get closer, we can see that these are actually part of the Rikers faction. And this is a group of convicts which, after the virus broke out, escaped the prison and have flooded into Manhattan to take advantage of the chaos. Here we can see Megan does a pulse, which gives the group information about what enemy types and levels that they'll be facing. And then we can engage. As you can see here, Bronson's going to go up uh, right on top of him and take point so he can take the attention of the enemies and draw aggro. And we can support him from behind with healing grenades, as you saw there, and covering fire. Using covers in the divisions is really important. You're going to be seeing the agents here as they move around flanking the different enemies, moving cover to cover, using height elevation to their advantage, and really trying to make sure that you're not exposed at any time because when you're out of cover, you take a lot of damage from enemies. It looks like we've only got a couple Rikers left here, and Bronson is really taking his role to heart and pushing right up into their face. And they've cleared him out. And here you can see Bronson's actually been a little bit too hardcore on this, and he's uh, in what we call the down state. So since they're playing in a group, Ryan can head over and actually revive him so he doesn't die and need to respawn and run back to his group, and he can get right back into the action. And here we can see that Ryan's actually found a loot crate. And he's gotten extremely lucky and has gotten a legendary drop. But as we can see, it's actually contaminated. All gear and weapons in the Dark Zone are contaminated and they need to be extracted before they can be actually equipped by the players or agents in the game. So in order to do that, our group is going to move to a nearby extraction point in Bryant Park. Once the group is inside an extraction area, they'll need to shoot up a flare which calls in a helicopter. Then they need to hold tight for 90 seconds and extract their goods. All right, now we see our group has come across a different group of enemies, and these are the cleaners. Cleaners used to work for the city of New York, but they got trapped on Manhattan when the quarantine was declared, and they've lost it. They want to, in their own minds, clean the city from the virus by burning anything and everything in their path, dead or alive. And this group of cleaners is actually a tougher group of what we call elites in the game. They have much higher health pools and much higher damage output. So our group here is going to really have to work together using their weapons and skills to take them out. Of course, they drop much better loot and give a lot higher experience. We got Ryan seems to have moved up to a kind of a bad cover position here. He's taking damage from the right and he's got a grenade coming in and he needs to move and he's too slow. So he's going to need to top himself off with a nice self heal. All right, so now we've dealt with the cleaners and we can move on towards the extraction area. 
But it looks like our group is not alone, and another group of players is in the same extraction area. In the Dark Zone, it's, it's very important to find out player intention relatively quickly, whether or not they're a friend or a foe. But it looks like these two are not interested in engaging. So our group's going to continue on and try to get that legendary weapon out. Extraction detected. Proceed with caution. Another team of agents has actually started an extraction, and our group is going to move to investigate. And as they come around, we do indeed see that an extraction is taking place, and they got about a minute left on their timer before the helicopter shows up. But we don't see the extracting team. Oh, here we see that the extracting team actually got the jump on our group, and Bronson's been quickly down. And since they engaged on us, they have now been flagged as rogue, which puts a big bounty on their back for a certain period of time. Luckily, Bronson was able to make it back to our group, and we were able to quickly revive him and get him back up into the fight. And now we've got some PvP chaos happening. And here we see Ryan throws out another healing grenade to, to heal up both of his teammates as they're flanking around to the left to try to get better position on these rogue agents. All right, we see Megan's gonna throw out another pulse, which really gives us good positioning on their locations. And here we can see another downside to going rogue in the dark zone. They have attracted another group of players, which is helping us take down this rogue group. And there we go. And of course, when you die in the dark zone, you drop any contaminated gear that you're currently carrying. It looks like the two groups now can divvy up the goods that they got from this rogue group. It looks like they've decided to just take out the new players and take all of the loot for themselves. You're attacking friendly forces. Rogue protocol initiated. So now in order to secure this loot to make sure it's theirs, they need to, to complete an extraction. So now our team has 90 seconds to control this area and to stay alive to get their loot out when the helicopter arrives. And you can see them fanning out into uh, good cover positions here in case any other uh, players come into the area or those groups that we engaged come back. Which it looks like indeed they do. But now we're set up in really good positions here to be able to take them out. Bronson and Megan are laying down damage from the front line, and Ryan is supporting from behind. And again, it's really important in the game to make sure that you're always in cover whenever possible, and that you're not being flanked by any enemies. Here we see Ryan tossing a healing grenade as he runs past Bronson there. And they're gonna focus on these two uh, players here straight in front of them. Now they got 30 seconds left to, to stay alive and to control the area. Well, that was some nice coordination there. It looks like a double kill coming off. All right, and they dealt with the, the other group yet again. And now the helicopters arrived, so they've, they were able to survive and be able to get their loot out and we'll head back to their base of operations.
Now we can see the group is still flagged as rogue, and they're a very juicy target for other agents in the area. So they really should leave this area quickly and decide where to head out to next. All right, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed a little glimpse into the gameplay inside the dark zone of Tom Clancy's The Division.